Hello everyone, this is your Swing Trading Stock Market Outlook for the week of December 18th. I'm Corey Mitchell with TradeThatSwing.com. This article, basically each week I go through the same process of assessing overall market health. That helps me decide whether I'm, how aggressively I'm going to be deploying capital or not. You can always find this under the uh, stocks and if you go to stock market analysis and trades, you'll see this article updated each week. <clears throat> so we do have some options for potential trades. This is more just, is the overall market good for taking trades? If it is, then we can look to these lists. We have the best swing trading stocks list for November. That's just recently strong stocks. The current stock watch list, this is actual setups that are sitting up. And then you have the best performing ETS, best performing stocks. These are other ones you can check out if you want some other options for uh, potential trades. Let's quickly look at how the indices are doing. Since this August, uh, sorry, October bottom, everything in a nice at least short term uptrend. You can see we've made higher highs on most of these uh, indexes, EWM, the, the small caps. Just barely getting there, but still, overall, short-term uptrends, no reason to be um, going short right at this point in time. At least in my opinion, we are in an uptrend, so that means we're waiting for long opportunities. I zoomed out the TSX, the Canadian index. You can see it's hanging out right near these highs, basically range-bound throughout the year. And we did get up to those highs, but haven't quite cleared above them. But still, since that October bottom, at least a short-term uptrend, even though we're ranging overall. Bitcoin had broken out of this range uh, late October, still running nicely to the upside. We have pulled back, but still an overall uptrend. So at least based on the indices, that's good. It tells me, yeah, we're in an uptrend. I prefer to be going long. And then if we look at the market health indicators, these are more the underlying strength of the market, which may not be evident based just on looking at the charts. And we can see more than 50% of stocks are above their 50-day moving average. 50-day moving average, just a very crude measure of how many stocks are in uptrends. Generally much easier to make money when most stocks are moving up, when most stocks are above their 50-day moving average. If you look at this indicator, when it drops below 50, you are generally in a downtrend or choppy type period. When it's above 50, you generally have rising prices. So pretty self-explanatory indicator. Generally better to be on the long side when this is above 50, and we are well above 50. 88% of S&P 500 stocks are above their 50-day. 79% of all U.S. stocks are above their 50-day. Volume, not really important to me at the moment. This shows the percentage daily movement of the S&P 500. And uptrends are marked by low volatility. You can see very small movements, especially to the downside. We don't have any big 2% drops. Anytime there's a 2% drop in a single day on the S&P 500, that is a warning sign to me. You can see lots of them back when the market was dropping in 2022. Very few of them, really none. Uh, except for back here in March, there was some. But since then, much more indicative of uptrending behavior, and I like to see this. Just small movement recently. That's good to see. When you start to see big drops, especially, or big moon, especially to the downside, that is a sign of a correction. This is the advanced decline line. Advancing stocks minus declining stocks is a cumulative number. It is advancing higher. It is at all time highs. That is a good thing to see. And this final indicator down at the volume at the bottom is up volume divided by total volume. Just gives us a sense of buying enthusiasm. If it's a really, if we see numbers up here in the 90% range, down here in the 10% range where this other black line is, that would show us strong selling pressure. And we've had lots of positive things from this indicator. We had a 90% upside day a few days ago. It didn't really matter because we were at highs. This is more something I look at when we're coming out of, uh, when we're dropping to potentially indicate bottoms, but still. Um, we had back here in November two 80% upside days. That's equivalent to a 90% upside day, and that occurred right near this bottom. Very good sign. 
uh, accompanied by this follow through day also on the NASDAQ. So it can be a predictive thing. The ones that are occurring right now, not super important, uh, but they are when they occur near low points or during a drop, I should say. We don't know where the actual bottom will be, but once those uh, big upside volume days occur near when the price is dropping, that's usually within a few days of the low. Sectors on the move, technology, financials, industrials, consumer cyclical, real estate, basic materials, lots on the move. Those are basically your top, uh, how many are there, six? Basically on most of these, all three of these time frames, they're hanging out near the top. So a wide range of sectors that are performing well. If you look at this weekly, monthly, and even the three month, yeah, most sectors doing quite well, just a good sign that overall market health is quite good. So what am I doing right now? Well, I'm deploying capital on long swing trades. And of course, always day trading the Euro USD, day trading stocks, and also doing some passive investing and active investing. Uh, based on those lists that I mentioned earlier, uh, these watch lists here. So that's your weekly market outlook for this week. Have a great trading week out there.